What's happening, man? Back with another video. A next on the playlist, we got White Hot, The Rise and Fall of Abercrombie and Fitch. Listen, around the time Hollister was popping, so was this. <laughs> so was this. I, it's some dudes at my school used to wear the dang Hollister pants with Abercrombie and Fitch hoodies or t shirts. I'm not gonna forget that, bro. I'm not gonna forget what y'all was wearing, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna forget that. But if you want to see the original video, link will definitely be in the description, man. It is on the Netflix YouTube channel if you want to check that out for yourself. But what I don't even have stuff, man. Let's see what this trailer talks about. You know that you're getting close. When you're hit with the smell of Abercrombie. The nightclub beats and bare chested guys. It was such a pop culture phenomenon. It was an all American look. And I considered myself an all-American girl. <laughs> Abercrombie and Fitch said, we go after the cool kids. If they didn't look a certain way, they didn't belong in our clothing. Are we exclusionary? Absolutely. As a manager, you have to recruit good-looking people. And this is what good-looking is. Young. Thin and white. Abercrombie rooted themselves in discrimination at every single level. There's a reason people liked that brand. Exclusion is part of our society. That is true. They were also firing people true. on the basis of their looks. Abercrombie said it wasn't that we were being racially discriminated against, it was that we weren't good looking enough. They literally made so much money. Exclusion was the root of their success. They had a no pet scarf policy. Abercrombie went all the way to the Supreme Court. All American doesn't mean all white. Which Abercrombie is also knew true. <laughs> that they had a lot to hide. We have some really troubling behavior. The story was an indictment of where our culture was. They didn't invent evil. They didn't invent class. They just packaged, packaged it. it. Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious, bro. Goodness gracious. I, you know, I never wore Abercrombie and Fitch. Matter of fact, I never wore Hollister. Okay, I'm just gonna throw it out there. That's not something. That's not something me and my friends were wearing. We were wearing, we were wearing true religion jeans with polo. Like I didn't have true religion jeans until I became an adult because I really wasn't trying to pay those prices. And when I had a little money, I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That was, that was, that was, but like I said, I only bought one pair. It wasn't something that I was, it, it was just something to do to say I did it. Cause that was a goal for me to be able to afford that. But, um, I mean, all we had, that's all we wore was Jordans, True Religions, and polos. Polo t-shirts, polo shorts. My homeboy used to come to school and he had polo shoes with polo socks with polo shorts and polo <laughs> with a polo button up. Yeah, boy, he used to, we used to come to school with the polo, man. We used to come to school with the polo. You had the international polos that we used to get, man. That was a time, but we never wore Abercrombie and Fish and Hollister. That's not where I'm from. That's not what was popular amongst people that look like me and my peers. You feel what I'm saying? But I did, there were people at school that did wear this. And, uh, you know what I mean? But they, they were their own separate crew. Like, they were all their own separate people. Like, they used to hang out with each other. And, and in their eyes, they thought they were the coolest in the school, but you feel me, you feel me. It's always, it's always going to be, in a school, people are always going to feel like they're the coolest of the cool. I really didn't care. I was just friends with everybody. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's it for the video. If you want to see me react to something else, comment that down in the comment section below. Or go hit me on my social media, Janterell underscore underscore on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Go hit me up. Go give me a follow. Subscribe, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Watch my videos and stuff like that. We try and make it to the top of YouTube, and I need y'all's help. You feel what I'm saying? So I can have generational wealth for me and my family. Help that out. You feel what I'm saying? Like, comment, subscribe, share. Till next time, man. I'll holler at y'all.
Peace. Give it, give it, give it.